Hey everyone, really excited to be here with you all today. Now, if you can't tell, I'm all swagged out with my Pac-Man hoodie. <laughs> oh yeah, and my Pac-Man hat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but for real, today we're gonna be playing some Pac-Man. And not just any Pac-Man, Pac-Man Championship Edition 2 on the PlayStation 4. Now, oh yeah, uh, I better go change before I get beat up or something. But meanwhile, I hope you enjoy the video, and let's take a look into the wonderful world of Pac-Man. Pac-Man was developed by Namco and immediately took the world by storm in the 80s. Ah yes, what can be said about this pixelated icon that hasn't been said already? Furthermore, how can you reinvent a game that made such an impact on both the gaming industry as well as the world, and still have that nostalgic feel mixed in with a shiny new coat of paint and modernized exciting gameplay? Enter Pac-Man Championship Edition. This title was initially released for Xbox Live Arcade in 2007 by Namco and designed by the original creator of Pac-Man, Toru Iwatani. The game was well received by fans and critics and garnered enough attention to spawn several spin-offs, including the better known follow-up title, Pac-Man Championship Edition DX, which added various enhancements in both graphics and gameplay. So the question now is, how do you improve on the championship formula and help introduce the iconic character we know and love to a whole new generation of fans? Well, technically Namco's literal answer to that was Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures, which was geared towards a younger audience. A really young audience, but we'll save that for another time. Flash forward to September of 2016, and that brings us to today's episode, Pac-Man Championship Edition 2. Now, this game has been out for a while, but with that in mind, that's allowed for a good amount of experience to mess around with the title and really reflect on what makes it so much fun. For starters, if you're unfamiliar with the basic rules of Pac-Man, to summarize, you control a yellow blob who goes around a maze eating dots or pellets, all while avoiding running into ghosts. Eventually, you'll come across a power pellet, which will allow you to turn the tables and eliminate the ghosts by eating them. Yes, you heard me right, you eat ghosts. This entry in the series continues with these traditional controls, however, there are a few added changes and maneuvers at your disposal. First off, in the past, if you ran into a ghost without a power pellet, you'd instantly die. Not here, however, as now you have a bit more freedom and can bump into a ghost up to three times consecutively before it transforms into an angrier version of itself. Run into one of these, and it's game over. Yet fear not, because this game does grant you an emergency escape in the form of bombs. So if you find yourself in a sticky situation, just use one, and then it'll fly Pac-Man back to the center of the course. Pretty cool, right? One final mechanic to note is the addition of the jump pad, which if you move Pac-Man over top of the pad, it'll send him jumping to another point in the maze. So, now that we know the basic understanding of the controls, let's talk about the audio and the visuals. So we've got the basic rules out of the way, by now, you may or may not be able to notice on a small screen, but in full 1080p HD, these upbeat yet simplistic graphics look amazing and are filled with vibrant colors and eye-popping effects. The well-timed flashes of light and the clashing of assorted colors truly add on to the level of enjoyment one may experience as they race through each course with that familiar yellow blob at a blazing speeds. Indeed. This isn't the typical classical arcade game that so many are familiar with, and the graphics are a key factor in helping this entry into the franchise stand out. Speaking of standing out, some cool effects worth noting are the transitions between mazes after Pac-Man collects a fruit or item. Just take a look. Pretty wild, right? Also, the animation of when Pac-Man chomps through a train of blue ghosts is a pixelated feast for the eyes and always leaves you with a feeling of satisfaction, especially if you manage to attack them back to back. Don't like the background or the way the characters look? 
Say no more. This game allows you to change up and customize the look to help make sure that you're experiencing the Pac-Man Wonderland of your dreams. Not to mention, do you hear those funky beats in the background? This game has a fantastic soundtrack that makes it feel more like a dance party than a typical arcade game. In fact, you know what? I think I'll start dancing right now. It's safe to say that gone are the days when the only sounds you would hear were those of sirens, power pellets, and waka waka waka. And in all honesty, the music really does complement the visuals for this game. Don't worry though, if you are a diehard fan of those nostalgic beeps and blips from the olden days of Pac-Man, most of them make an appearance here and there, as well as some new effects too. So now that we've got an idea for the look and feel of the game, let's dig even deeper and take a gander at some of the gameplay and features. As far as gameplay goes, well, if you've been watching, by now you've seen a great deal of footage. However, there are a few things worth mentioning. The game is broken down into three main modes which are Tutorial, Score Attack, and Adventure Mode. Now, Score Attack is basically your standard arcade mode, and here you'll find that there are plenty of variations of playstyles to choose from. Each of these have their own sets of difficulty where you can either practice, play normally, or if you're a hardcore gamer, you can try your luck at Extreme. Each game type lasts 5 minutes, and at the end, you'll be greeted with a fun little line graph featuring none other than Pac-Man and his ghostly rivals. It pinpoints your current score in comparison to your high score. This is immediately followed up by a bar graph detailing how your score was obtained by means of eating pellets, ghosts, and collecting fruits or items. Speaking of achievements, now might be a good time to mention that this game does have its own set of achievements or trophies if you're playing on a PlayStation, which you see here, that you'll be rewarded with after completing certain objectives. And yes, for all you completionists out there, there is a platinum trophy to be earned here. Pretty cool, huh? Moving along, we have Adventure Mode. Here, you'll be greeted by a course map where you can select which mission you'd like to attempt. The number of stars you earn is determined by the level of difficulty you choose, and the stars you collect are used to unlock boss fights and progress to the next section. When playing a level on Adventure Mode, the timer is quicker and the match ends after you complete the objective. Depending on the difficulty, things can get rather hectic and some fast-paced decision making may be required if you hope to succeed. The whole experience with this game is both exciting and unique. But if there was one aspect that truly separates it from other titles in the Pac-Man franchise, it's the boss fights. For these segments, the goal is simple. Much like the normal missions in Adventure Mode, Pac-Man is on a race against the clock to complete certain objectives. Except this time, he has to do so while avoiding various consequences instigated by the boss. If you can collect enough items and complete the objective within the time limit, you'll be rewarded with a power pellet where you and a bunch of other Pac-Man buddies will collectively eliminate the big baddie. Once you've achieved victory and are triumphant over a boss, you'll unlock the next section of Adventure Mode and the game continues from there. That's pretty much the game in a nutshell. So now that we've taken a look at the game itself, still one question remains. Is it worth it? From a critic's standpoint, the reception for the game was generally favorable, as most reviews at the time of release hovered around an 80% or 4 out of 5 rating. Regardless of other critics' opinions, however, as well as disregarding the fact that I'm a huge Pac-Man fan myself, I'd have to say that after looking through the facts and taking some time to really experience and enjoy the game for myself, I had a lot of fun with it. That's why for me, this game gets a rating of 4 out of 5 Pac-Man with their thumbs up. Still, is it worth it? Well, at the time of this video, the game is currently available digitally for $12.99 on Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. And at that price, I'd say it's absolutely worth it. Yet, don't take my word for it, because that's just my opinion. So, if you didn't like what you saw, then look elsewhere. But if you did enjoy the review and haven't played it, then what are you waiting for? <laughs> 
Also, if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like, and also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Also, leave a comment saying, what's your favorite Pac-Man game? I'd love to hear back from you all on that one. That being said, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. Thank you so much. It means so much to me. And I hope you enjoyed it, and take care.